Here we are, fishing friends. It's, well, it's December the 3 million, it's December the 29th. I've had a gut full of Christmas. I hope you've had a, a lovely Christmas and everything with your families. But, you know, just had to get out. We've got low pressure today on the uh, on the chart. Southwest winds, you know, winter bassin. It just, you know, my spider senses were tingling when I saw the forecast last night. And I said, I said to Dan, come on, Dan, let's go down and see if we can get you a nice bass today because he's never had one. So Dan's filming today. So today I'm just going to do a little bit about you know, a little peeler bait demo. I've done one before with a sort of a whole crowd with just the back off, like sometimes we use it. But in the winter, more often than not, we use peel baits, you know, because they're a little bit smellier and, you know, when the water's coloured as well, the fish, you know, they're, they're actually smelling the food as well as looking around, they're smelling everything. So I've got the nice, the beautiful Blaze MX-1 out today, sort of two to five ounce rod. There, look, even got my name on it, look, so, you, so it's mine. <laughs> Nobody else's, that's mine. All right, so yeah, so we've got the light gear out today, nice little stratic on there. And the business end, look. So, simple running ledger. I've got a Lumi zip slider there, which does glow in the dark. And I've got uh, I've got the 58 pound Tronics line here, the blackout memory free. It is one of the better ones on the market. I've used it for a couple of years now, and it, and it, and it lays nice and straight. You know, when you do the knot, you know, you haven't got that nasty curly line on the end there like you do with some cheaper lines and the same with the hook length look i've used a very minimal figure of eight knot there and you can see that's you know that that's that's a really nice line there yeah so it's premium line and we've got the tronics i've got a tronics hook on there today a little beast a 3-0 beast hook there look All right so here's my peeler crab i'll show you now quickly really basic stuff we just you, you don't have to be too anal about this you don't have to get off every little bit of shell you know some people moan about the lungs the, the dead man's fingers in the side i never bother taking them off man because you know mr bass out there he isn't going to come along and go oh there's lungs on the outside of that oh don't like that oh, mate, he's just going to come in he's going to slam it like you know and uh right so there's that bit peeled there the underside yeah the most of the legs are off, right? Then I just take off his little hat. Right, so there's his hat. Okay, so get rid of that. And then here, look, where the, the face sort of shutter is, if you like, you just pull those bits off there, look. So these are, obviously there's not much peeler crab around at the moment. So, you know, you've got to freeze them when you can and obviously just bring them out, defrost them. So there you go, look, there, that, that's the bait there. Ready to go on the hook. Right, so there's obviously lots of different ways you can hook up a crab, but I'm going to show you another way today, and it's really simple, look. And you can see I've, there's still a bit of leg on there, look, I ain't worried about that, you know, the bass ain't going to worry about that. So look, I'm going to go down through the money box, so in here there, look. All right, so straight out, in and out, yeah. Pull that sucker through, yeah, so it's like that. And then really easily, if you just go down here, Show you this look if you go in about there by the leg and then you come around the wing at the top of the wing there look see the hooks just poking out there and then i just pull this line tight ish doesn't have to be very tight and what you've got there you've got an it's, it's actually anchored through the through the crab so it's not going to slip as much as if you just put it through once so so there's my so i'm quite pleased with that look that looks quite good already doesn't it so we'll just go on to the uh mr whippy And again, this is, you know, easy stuff. Um, obviously you need to actually concentrate around the, the eye of the hook there, sort of when you're whipping, yeah. So, I just start whipping this baby up. Okay. Like that. And I'll just stop and I'll just sort of bunch it up in the middle a bit, there. And I'm just working on that hook. There you go, look, like that. And that there is just about good enough. You don't want to go too mad because if you go, if you keep on wrapping and wrapping and wrapping, you're just going to make it tighter and tighter. And at some point, those juices start to escape. And that's what you don't want. You want that to be nice and you know juicy. So, the, so there's all that smell coming out of it. And Mr. Bass come along and he'll just go whack. 
All right, so the last thing I'm going to do on this, look, is you can see the hook point there, just there, look. Well, believe it or not, bass can see things like that, all right? So I'm going to disguise that with a crab's leg, all right? So this is just the, the big pincer off, off this peeler crab, yeah? So I've just peeled that. Uh, yeah, it's a bit fiddly to peel. And then all you do is you pop it on the end of the hook, like a little, like that, look. And then, look, you've got a really natural bait because that's going to be on the bottom and then you can just see it looks like it's got its claw there doesn't it you know so that's a really natural bait and that hook points disguised and believe me sometimes when it's quite clear conditions and if they see that hook point they will not touch it all right so it's always always worth peeling that extra going that extra mile peeling that leg and you know and putting it on there so yeah there, there, look, there's the other leg there look so that's the small leg and all you do is you pull off Pull off the point of that claw. You pop it in your fingers, look. It's, it's soft. Like that. And you just peel it, peel it, peel it until you've obviously just got the claw. And then that goes on the end of the hook. And that's brilliant, like. So, so there you go. There's a nice winter bass bait there, look. On a 3 0 hook. And we're now going to sneak down the system and uh, catch a few bass. Tight lines. Well, here we are, look. Winter bass in on the peeler crab. Obviously nailed in the lip there, look. So very good for the fish. So I was really buzzing with that on the peeler. And all these fish have got to go back. So we're going to put this fish back now. That was a lovely fight on the MX1, which is just there, look. There's my little beauty rod. Beauty, look at that. There you go, look. Nice little schoolie going back. Tight lines.